All right, so the first AI automation for your social media is going to start with this trigger containing Facebook Messenger. So in this case, we are building a chatbot directly inside our Facebook page. We want to trigger this workflow with a new message sent to our page. So that is going to be our event. Inside your trigger settings, you also want to specify which page you want to work with. In this case, I gave Zapier access to one page, which is called Pop-Up Slant. You should then send a test message to that page from your personal account, for example, so you have data that you can work with. In this case, we send this message hi can you explain what exactly pop-up slant does and how our company could benefit from it in the first action after the trigger we want to make it more human-like so we don't want to reply immediately afterwards with a very long message because the prospect would immediately think that this is not the real person behind it so we want to use something called delay by zapier which is a built-in app inside zapier in the event you want to choose delay for and in the action you want to specify for how long you want to delay this and so we want to set the value to 10 as well as the unit two minutes and so the second action that we are setting up after the delay is going to be ai by zapier ai by zapier is once again a built-in app that zapier offers so in this case we are going to train the messenger chatbot on the data on our website so in this case you have many options but you want to choose web page question and answer in the action you want to put as many pages as you want so this can include the pages that include all the necessary information about your business pricing plans the home page features then some additional pages with resources as well as book a demo page so then we can also prompt the person to book a demo on our website and then you want to set up the questions for these specific pages and you want to separate them by comma so in this case it doesn't necessarily have to be a question it can be a simple prompt you can write something like write down an overview of all pricing plans and then you basically write down all the necessary questions and prompts for each page this is going to train the ai on all the necessary information about your business so for example write down the overview of pop pop slant and what it does write down all specific features available in pop up slant and so on and then what that does is that it's going to store all the information in different variables so when you test this you're later on going to be able to use these variables inside your answer in messenger so for example here we have question number one write down the overview of pop up slant and what it does and then we got the answer that was generated by the app and includes all the necessary information that was found on our website then you want to set up a chat gpt action in this case we are going to send a prompt directly to chat gpt so our event is going to be conversation and then in the action under use the message we are writing our prompt over here you can see we are firstly setting up context and then later we are setting up the database for answering these questions so the great thing is that ai by zapier gives you the questions and answers separately in different fields but it also gives you one variable that includes all the answers so it includes all the necessary information about your pricing plans home page features and so on so you want to use that variable that is called the full answer and then you want to prompt ChatGPT to answer the inquiry you want to be very specific about the length because messenger does not allow you to send long automated messages so you want to make sure that it's under 1500 characters and then you specify the message you want to answer so in this case we are using the one from our trigger which is called message text and then to make it more personalized we are also prompting ChatGPT to remember the name of the person so you can find also that information inside your trigger over here so if i go here you can see we got the full name the message first name and last name so you want to include at least the first name to make it more personal if you don't know how to write prompts then definitely go and check out the first link in the description down below where you can get my totally free no junk resource where i show you the 3p framework that you can use to write prompts directly inside zapier like this then we are setting up our model as well as the memory key as you can see if you don't get the results that you like you can always change the memory key and so that's what i actually did here and so what you have to do is you want to change the memory key whenever you change your prompt to get different results from ChatGPT. this is not going to let ChatGPT remember the previous outputs then we have username assistant name assistant instructions and as well as max tokens temperature and top p in this case you want to maybe change this to you are a helpful customer support agent and also you can change max tokens if you want to to make sure that you are not going over the 1500 characters in this case i want the output to be very focused I don't want any creativity whatsoever 
because this is a question and a straightforward answer to that. And then lastly, you want to put everything together and use the messenger as your last action. So you want to set up the event to send message from page. And then in the action, you put all the necessary variables there. So in this case, you specify the page, then you want to choose the recipient ID, you want to change this ID each time someone messages you because each person has different ID. So that's why you want to use the dynamic variable over here. And the ID in this case with messenger is the PS ID. And then in the text, you want to place the chat GPT output that was trained on our website when we use the AI by Zapier app. You can find it inside your conversation with chat GPT under the reply. And so after each of the automation I'm going to show you in this video, I'm also going to show you how this works in real. So I'm going to test this action. And as you hear, we got the message on our Facebook. So let's check that out. And yeah, it works. So you can see we got the message over here where we are asking about the business as well as the pricing plans. And then AI by Zapier as well as ChatGPT generated the total answer for us based on the information that it was able to find on our website. So we got the personalized message with the first name over here. And we got the expansion of the business as well as all the features. And then the great thing is that we also included the book a demo link. So then the person can be redirected directed to our website and thus we get a new lead. All right, so the second AI automation for your social media is going to include YouTube as the trigger. In this case, we want to use the event called new video by search. In the trigger, you want to specify the keyword that you want to find the videos about. So in this case, I'm writing down Zapier AI because let's say I want to find only the videos that mention this keyword. Now remember, you can also use schedule by Zapier if you don't want to prompt this each time someone posts a video about this keyword, because for example, it might be many times throughout the day. So you don't want to spam your Facebook group, obviously. The second action after the trigger is going to be a ChatGPT conversation. So we want to send prompt to ChatGPT. And so we are setting up the event to conversation. And in the action, we are setting up our prompt. If you are firstly setting up a context, you're a social media manager who runs an educational Facebook group about AI automation by repurposing other people's content that is uploaded on YouTube. And then based on the data that we found inside our trigger, we can place the title of the video so that can be found under the dynamic variable called title. We also want to set up the description of the video. And then in the details, we are basically writing down the format of how the post on our Facebook group is going to look like. So in this case, you don't want to make very long messages. So for example, you can limit it to 500 characters. And then we are writing down the main prompt based on the title and description of the video, write a summary of what this video is about. And we are setting up all the necessary fields. So remember to set up your model as well as memory key. Memory key is super important because it lets ChatGPT to remember all the previous conversations. And so the output that is going to be generated next is going to look very similar and it's going to have the same format. So if you decide to change your prompt, you should also change your memory key because basically it's going to start a new conversation from scratch. And so then the output is going to be changed. Whereas if you keep the same memory key, the output might still look the same. You can set up your username, assistant name, assistant instructions. In this case, I'm writing down you are a helpful SOMI assistant. And then max tokens temperature until P, you can play with these settings as well. I have videos about those on my channel, so you can check them out. And so lastly, what we want is that we want to take this video as well as the chat GPT output and have it posted on our behalf. So we are using Facebook groups as the app inside Zapier. We are going to choose the event post message. In the action, we want to specify which group we are talking about. So in this case, I created this one, which is called Zapier uh, Automation. And remember, important thing here is that you have to install Zapier plugin directly inside your Facebook group. I know that maybe it's kind of confusing and you never knew that you can install different apps inside your Facebook groups, but you can. And in this case, in order for this automation to work, you just have to go to your Facebook group and inside the settings, you want to find the apps and install the Zapier app. And then in the message, you want to include the output from ChatGPT that is stored under the reply. And so then you can also set up a static message that you always want to have on that specific message. So remember that this one is a dynamic one. So it's going to change each time ChatGPT is going to generate the response. But I want to always include watch the video for more details as a message that is always going to be included inside that post. And it's because I also want to include the video inside my post as well. So in the link URL, I want to include the URL link that you can get from your trigger. And so right now I'm going to test this and show you how this works. So I'm going to test this action and we got a confirmation. A post message was sent to Facebook groups about one second ago. 
code. So let's check that out. So if I go to my Facebook page and I refresh it, I'm going to scroll down and yeah, it works. You can see we got the post over here that includes the description of what this video is about, as well as all the hashtags, including our aesthetic call to action to watch this video. All right, so the next AI automation is going to be for your Instagram. In this case, we are going to create kind of like a theme page. We're going to be generating images every single day. So we are going to start with a trigger that is going to be the app called Schedule by Zapier. In the event, we are going to choose every day. And then under the trigger, we are going to choose to trigger this on weekends as well. And we are going to choose 7 p.m. as our time when we want to post. We are then going to use our first action after the trigger, which is going to be the OpenAI app, which allows you to create AI generated images. So in this case, you want to choose the event called Generate Image. And under the action, you want to specify how the image should look like. So in this case, we are firstly writing down our prompt, profile portrait of a rabbit. And so in this case, we want to generate a real looking image of a rabbit. And so I found out that including profile as well as portrait as the keywords inside your prompt is going to generate real looking images. And then in the second field, you want to specify how many images you want to generate. So you can write down one and then you want to specify your size of the image. Then the next action is going to be to spark a conversation with ChatGPT. So under the event, you want to choose conversation. In the action, we're going to generate a description for this image. So we are setting up the context. You are a zoologist specializing in rabbits and you post daily images of rabbit on Instagram. We are also going to set up details where we specify how we want the output to look like. For this case, we want to just generate 200 characters and no more. And then lastly, we are setting up the main prompt, generate a short description containing one random interesting fact about rabbits. Then we are setting up model and memory key. Once again, set up your memory key if you like the output and you want to keep it consistent. In the assistant instructions, you can change this to you are a zoologist. And then in terms of max circuits temperature and top P, I'm leaving it on default. And then the last action is actually to put everything together. So we are going to take the AI generated image as well as the caption and put that all together and post it on our Instagram page. So you want to choose Instagram for business as your app inside Zapier and you want to specify the event to publish a photo. And then in the action, you want to set out specific fields. So firstly, you choose the Instagram account to use. In this case, I am choosing the AI rabbits every day. Here, there are two things you have to keep in mind. The first one is that your account on Instagram must be a business account. It cannot be a creator or a personal account. And then the second condition is that your Instagram account has to be connected to your Facebook page. You can do it directly on Facebook in the menu where you connect other apps. If you don't do these two, the automation is not going to work. Then you want to specify your photo. So this is going to be the URL of your image that OpenAI generated. And then you want to also include the caption that includes the funny fact about rabbits. So in this case, you want to choose the dynamic variable called reply inside your conversation with ChatGPT. And then I'm also setting up the hashtag that I always want to include inside this caption. So I always want to include rabbits as well as bunny. So those are going to be my static ones as well as did you know about this? So this is going to act as a call to action to whoever is going to see this image and then tag users and location I'm leaving it empty all right so right now I'm going to show you how this works in action I'm going to retest this tab and we got a confirmation saying a media was sent to Instagram about one second ago so let's go and check that out I'm going to go to my Instagram account and as you can see this is the image that I have generated previously and this is the one where I show you exactly step by step how to do this in more details so if you are interested go and check out that video I'm going to link it down below but right now we generated a new image so I'm going to to refresh this page and yeah it works so we got another one over here so if i click on that one you can see we got the image over here that is real looking and we also get the caption that ChatGPT generated for us as well as the static hashtags with the call to action all right so in the next ai automation for your social media i'm going to start with a trigger once again scheduled by zapier and in this case we want to create viral posts on our linkedin account and post them every single day on our behalf so we are going to set up event to every day we once again specify whether we want to post it on weekends and the exact time we want to trigger this workflow. After that, we are using ChatGPT as our first action. We are going to choose event conversation and in our action, we are using this prompt over here. So firstly, once again, we're setting up context. You are a business influencer posting viral and educating content on LinkedIn. We are telling ChatGPT what to do. So we want to create a viral post similar to this one. Always create a unique scenario and never repeat the same post or topic. And then we go on LinkedIn, do a little bit of research and find the post that went viral so we can keep the same structure and format and potentially go viral as well. So I found this one and I'm going to place 
listed under the viral post. And then in the details, I'm specifying more details about how the post should look like. For example, I'm saying put each sentence on a separate line and don't write any characters before or after the post. You can once again choose the model as well as the memory key. I highly recommend you once again to set up memory key because in this case, it's very beneficial. You want to keep the post very consistent and have the same format. And so we want to let ChatGPT to remember all the posts that it has generated before. You can set up username, assistant name, as well as assistant instructions. In this case, I'm writing down, you are an influencer who posts educative content on LinkedIn. And then you can change max tokens if you want to adjust the length, as well as the temperature and top P if you want to adjust the creativity of the output. And then as your last action, you want to post this on your LinkedIn. So you want to choose the app called LinkedIn. And in the event, you want to choose create share update. In the action, you want to specify the comment, which is going to be the actual post. So in this case, you can find it inside your ChatGPT conversation under the reply. You then specify the visibility of this post. So in this case, you can choose whether everyone can see this or just your connections. And then you can specify other fields as well. So that includes your title, description, image URL, as well as content URL. In this case, this is a simple post that includes just the text. So we can continue. And I'm going to right now test this whole workflow. So I'm going to test this action. And in this case, we got a confirmation. A share was sent to LinkedIn about one second ago. We got the direct link. So I can just copy this one. And if I go and visit the page, you can see that this is the URL of my post. And yeah, it works. So we got a very similar viral post that right now has the ability to go viral as well. Now, remember writing prompts inside Zapier is a little bit different. So I put together a totally free no junk resource that you can find in the first link in the description down below with all of my other resources as well. And specifically, you can find my free P framework that I put together, which teaches you how you can write efficient prompts inside Zapier when you're using the ChatGPT blog. If you want to see more examples of business AI automations, then go and check out this video where I show you four of those, including your CRM system, managing your leads, as well as communicating with your prospects. If you enjoyed this video or if you learned anything new, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're interested in AI automations, then definitely subscribe down below because I post every single week. Thank you so much and have a great day.